bricks, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, we bricks, we bricks. Relax, Alpha Wax. Relax, will you? Hello, Alpha Wax. It's uh, new build day. Yes, exciting. Uh, but before we get there, of course, we have to open up the uh, advent calendar. And uh, it's number 10 today, I do believe. Let me just check my watch. Yes, it is. It's number 10. Here it is. Oh, brilliant. We've got a minifigure. Brilliant. Genuinely loving it when we get a minifig. By the way, I came in here this morning to the Lego shed. And it was very, very clear to me that an unknown creature had uh, tiptoed through the minifigs uh, up there. Can you see all the minifigs up there? And there were several on the floor, scattered, scattered, and up there. We've got an Affle Mouse. That's what's going on. Right, minifig. Oh, I am loving this top already. Um, ooh, we have a she means business face or a, oh yeah, no, sure. I'll, I'll let you off face. No, I won't have, I'm in business face. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm, will you look at her? Oh, she's a female cop. Oh, oh crumbs. Do you think she hangs out with Charlie Chops? Oh, good grief. I love her. I love her so much. She might have to appear in, in some animations. Oh, will you look at her? Oh, crumbs, she's good. Um, oh, look, she's got a badge. Oh, Lord, a she's got a badge. Flip it. Oh, look, there's another badge. I might give that to Charlie Chops. Um, absolutely loving her. Gosh, what's your name? You need you need a really strong name. Uh, Detective Inspector. Shut your face. I mean, it's Italian. It's not how you spell it, but it's how you pronounce it. Detective in Inspector, show your face. Yeah, okay, thank you. I, I suspect she'll be great pals with Sharon Renzulli, that one, don't you? Crumbs, I love her. I really love her. Detective Inspector, shut your face. Um, right, now, FYI, the, uh, the ice rink. The ice rink is open for business. Uh, as is the uh, the bench behind the ice rink. So if anyone uh, would like to uh, sit there uh, for the time being, then uh, they're very welcome to. Now, disclosure before we begin today. Um, this is the Zingbao, the Zingbao toy and bookstore that we're doing. Number one, because it's not Lego, I'm not going to play... Um, Eric's uh, Holy... Holy... Uh, book of lego because it's not lego and i think it would be wrong to do so uh, but disclosure i was sent a brown uh, plate of these and this is this is this is the uh uh the risky run when it's not lego but uh but look it can you can you see it's it's damaged it's 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 broken look it's broken um so i've replaced it with my own base plate uh, that's all you need to know. That's uh, disclosure over. Um, so before we we open up the booklet, which will not be with Eric's uh, lovely Kyrie, I will now do the knoll for bag one. Thank you. <laughs> So I can tell you that uh, we have 24 bags 
um, and interestingly, the last bag, 24, contains all the minifigs. Um, I suppose we can take a view on that. We either wait till the very end to get all the minifigs, or we'll be careful not to cut that. Or um, we can dot them through. I'll, I'll, you can guide me on this. Um, so look, we get this. I, d I have no idea what this symbolises or what it means. Someone might know. Someone might know. Oh no, I've just, I've just knocked over. Um, Detective Inspector, shut up your face. Shut your face. Sorry, shut your face. Sorry, sorry, Detective Inspector, shut your face. Sorry, sorry. I mean, what do we? What, what do you do with this? Maybe I'll, I'll make that part of the giveaway at, at the next uh, live and bricking, just for larks. Could be part could be part of the poo bingo prize, whatever it may be. I'll put it in there. Remind me that that's going to be give, given away. Anyway, look at the heft on this. That's hefty. Um, all right, super. Well, let's get going. Here we go. The Zingbao Toy and Bookstore, day one. Oh, here we go. What's it say here? Uh, Yee Yee Toys. Hang on. Let's get little Sue out of the way. This says, Yee Yee Toys is a brick design team jointly planned and founded by domestic and foreign experts of bricks building, a top-class creative team famous for independent design and production of related brick products in Asia. Mm. And also the team that designs and makes bricks of MOC works in China mainland. His work cover lots of categories such as films and television, military affairs, architectures and so on. Well, well, um... Oh, and the, oh, I see. It's just an it, it's an ad for the Maritime Museum, the Maritime Museum. The I've got a feeling that Mr. Graham Triggs was eyeing up the Maritime Museum. Um, now then, is that the whole thing? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, so let me know if you if you did get that, Mr. Graham Triggs. I would be interested. Uh, to know, well, as you can see, it's just going to be an absolute cavalcade of tiling today, uh, which will thrill a lot of you, I know. You'll be very glad to know that this, these fit on my Lego base plate. I know that some of you will be a bit upset that I'm putting uh, unholy bricks on a, on a holy Lego base plate, but base plate is broken. Uh, nothing to be done about that, I'm afraid. Well, I'm glad they're going on, so that's something. Right, off to the Google eyes. Jordan, 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 Jordan. Says, may I make a request to Eric Oswald, please? Of course you can. Says, can you write lyrics to an opening tune to be sung before Dr. Jordan's facts, please? Well, over to you. Over to you, Eric. What rhymes with facts? What does rhyme with facts? Oh, that's tricky. What rhymes with facts? Acts. No cats, lacts, no, macts, no. I can't think of anything else other than acts that rhymes with facts. And God, it might have to be a quite short, a short little jingle. Uh, I mean, I'm loving tiling already, aren't you? Um, uh, Eric. Got a duck called Fazio. They both like watching Lego. And they really like music. Uh oh, so his name is Eric. Ba ba bum. 
etc. Uh, he says, a bless you, Emma, for being able to get through Jordan's post while still doing the Tom Baker voice. <laughs> Tell me about it. <laughs> amazing post from Jordan and amazing job from Emma. Well, I, 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 I suspect a lot of you will have been quite affected by what Jordan said yesterday. It was amazing. Do you know what? I was going to do this later, but I may as well do it now. I've got something to tell you, everybody. I've made a decision. And the decision is this, is he has been such a wonderful addition to the Afawak community. And uh, he writes scripts uh, for animations. He has given us facts aplenty. Um, he puts in masses of effort uh, to help make RWB what it is. So uh, with great, great pleasure, I would like to announce. <laughs> That Jordan is now a member of the Order of the Haunted Table. I'm making you an OHT, Jordan. You're an OHT. Uh, you will be getting, uh, so I will send you your OHT badge uh, in the post. But uh, congratulations to you, sir. And my golly gosh, I don't know anyone who deserves it more, quite frankly. Um, so there it is. Hooray for Ray. Hooray for Jordan. Hooray. Uh, re His name is Rio and he really likes Lego. And he really likes other things that rhyme with Lego. Rio reborn. Uh, he says, sniff, oh Jordan, I swear I'm not crying. I've just been cutting onions. As a Whovian myself and somebody who has struggled with anxiety and depression for most of my life, those quotes brought tears to my eyes yeah it was a very very affecting yesterday very affecting moment uh jordan then says uh, thank you to everyone's kind words i teared up reading them all i love each and every one of you the afawak gang is the first time in a long time that outside of my family where i have felt accepted and valued oh god i'm gonna go again I'm only 21, whereas in some circles I'm seen as the kid of the group. I feel truly equal here with you all. Sorry for making you cry. No, don't apologise for anything. We all need to have these moments in life. I'm sending a big virtual hug to everyone. One day I do hope to meet you all. Yes, you will. And give you real hugs. You don't know how much you've helped me. Yes, I do hope that someone does hear my words and it helps them. And if anyone needs any help or support, I'm here for them. Ditto, always. I try to be a positive force for kindness and caring. Morals not only my dad taught me, but was reinforced by my favourite fictional Time Lord. Hate is always foolish and love is always kind. Love hard, run fast, be kind. Oh, good grief. <coughs> Woo wee! Another amazing post from Jordan. Uh, Michael Pendlebury. Uh, I saw the length of it and I thought that probably needs to be photographed. Thank, thank God we can come back to a boing. Uh, <laughs> an instant boing. Um, then Michael says, As a depression bipolar sufferer myself, I'd like to give a big haunted table hug to Dr. Jordan, please. What a really lovely, beautiful post that was. I'd ask you to press the button, but well, it's probably best you don't. Well, I'll give you a I'll give you a boing for that. Thank you, uh, Eric. Do you know how hard I la I laugh over each time you realise you still haven't changed the batteries? Don't don't mention it. D everyone, just don't mention the batteries today, okay? Thanks. Okay, thanks. Thank no. Thank you. Uh, Jordan, I've had a parcel sitting in Sheffield MC for a week ready to be sent out. Uh, uh, then he says, uh, take a look and treasure the little miracles, because one day they will be big miracles. Then uh, uh, here she comes. <coughs> <coughs> oh, crumbs, Dolly, your knocks are really bad today. Yeah, Anna, just put me in front of the camera. <coughs> I would just like to say, no mucking about, please. No mucking about. 
we love you, Jordan. Thank you. Thank you. You, you can take me off the fair thing. I mean it. Thanks. Thank, thank you, Del Dolly Neptune. Thank you. Thank you. Nice and respectful today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Danny Bowers. Uh, Wow. Said postman came today. Love, love, love. Thank you so much, Mother Goose. Shh. Shush, be quiet. Don't, don't say what it is because everyone who lives not in the UK won't have had it yet. Shh, be quiet. Shh. Uh, so thoughtful. Have wax forever. It's coming, everybody. It's coming. We, by the way, can we just discuss this? It's, we've never, we, we don't get that in Lego. Just saying. I'm not saying it's better than Lego. Nothing's better than Lego. Don't be ridiculous. I'm just saying it's different. It's a piece we haven't seen before. So strictly speaking, it should have a... Thank you. Uh, we thought she was from Canada and then we didn't think she was from Canada and then it turned out she was from Canada. It's yeah. William B. <laughs> Holding up today, isn't it? I'm, I'm watching you, Emma. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. Little, I haven't got to you yet, little Sue. Yes, but one at one point you will get to me. And then we shall have a discussion. Oh, no. It's your, your turn. It's Gillian B's turn. Oh, that was a beautiful post, Jordan. Thank you for sharing. Uh, what a lovely, lovely windows, eh? Wowie. Uh, sweet swoos uh, for them. Yes, I will. I will. I will. They, they were amazing, weren't they? They were pretty awesome. They were absolutely awesome. Um, hang on. That's going there. Okay, thank you. Uh, Rio uh, Reborn uh, says, Hello, Mother Gooses. Hello. Hello to you. Uh, after watching two months' worth of shows in just three weeks, I finally caught up. Oh, my God. You get a round of applause for that effort. Uh, my wife uh, was taken seriously ill with sepsis in early October. I guess we, I think we were aware that she'd been very poorly. Um but now it's thankfully better, thank goodness. I've really been missing my daily fix of Lego builds, poo stories and Mother Goose singing the earworm that is Gillian B's theme. Uh, if it's okay, may I just say thank you to everybody who messaged me on Twitter with Get Well Soon messages. Um, oh no. Oh Rio, I can't bear it. I've done, I've done a, hang on, have, did I do it on the next page? No, I didn't. Oh, I hate myself. I've done read more. Oh, crumbs. Crumbs alive. I'll, I'll read it out again tomorrow. I'm really sorry. I'm really, really sorry. Um, Tweedle, Mandy, Tweedle, Vas, Poo, Sue. They are twins and they are poo. Uh, Rio says, you're back. Uh, Mandy says, Tweedle, Mandy says, oh, Rio, you're back. Uh, long distance hug. And I'm so glad your wife is better. That's fantastic news. Uh, you've been missed. Uh, Tweedle. Vapusu says, yay, Rio's back, yay, whoop. I'm so glad your wife is feeling better and you can rejoin your fellow Afawax. And Jordan says, so glad to have you back, Rio, and really glad to hear that your wife is better sending hacks. I hate myself for missing the read more. I hate myself. I hate myself. Uh, Michael Pendlebury says, don't worry about your taskmaster chances, uh, Mother Goose. Alex Horn said a while ago that he only said that about people asking to go on Taskmaster to avoid getting flooded with requests. If it were true, then there's no chance a Richard Herring would have been on. After all, he's been going on and on about it since the first season. I mean, this comes as no surprise. Uh, then we have Lego all around again, uh, who may or may not be a box. Uh, who says, uh, awesome set, awesome set. So uh, off we go to the 
Uh, here we go. Uh, Mr. Graham Triggs, the VAR, the official referee of Relax with Bricks. Oh no, wait. Wait, Mr. Graham Triggs. Uh, he says. He says. Oh no. This is the this is the slight problem. Mm, let's try let's try that one on another bit of the board. Ah, oh, there we go. Uh, he says, I think that Chinese set was designed especially for fans of adult Lego. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, you can have a yes for that. Thank you. Oh, oh, Emma, was that the red? Was that the red sound machine? Um, yes, it was, little Sue. Yes, yes, it was. Yes, we'll be having words. <laughs> Just hang on. I'm just having a bit of bother with these tiles. Just hang on, please. I've just got to press them down. There we go. Okay. Um, Joel Perry. Um, oh, uh, look what arrived uh, today in the post. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, it is, of course, the uh, doodah uh, and random minifig. And you, you might know that the, the face on that minifig looks suspiciously like Bob Ross. Presented without comment. Presented without comment. Presented without comment. Do, 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 do. Uh, oh, that's a cool minifig, says Katie Hall. Um, who is it, please? Yeah, we did show him, didn't we, Dolphin? <laughs> Good Dolphin. Good Dolphin. Uh, Eric says, I may need to write a song called Gap in the Wall. All in all, I don't see a gap in the wall. Uh, this is, of course, referring to Bevis uh, insisting that there was a hole in the wall. Uh, and here he comes, as if by magic. Um, uh, Bevis! Bevis Masson, the sensei! The sensei, Uncle Strawberry, the mooning mini, the matter, the Lego whispery. He says there is a gap in the wall. You've put the door over it now, but you'll still be able to see it from the other side. Don't go questioning me, Knuckles. And then he includes a photograph with a with a ring round it. The build is over. <laughs> Then he says the skinny pillars aside the windows work very nicely and I guess are echoed by the ones by the door, but I'm still not convinced by those. Mm. Yeah, I think the window ones work better. I'm just looking up at it now. Yeah, I think no, but I think the window I, I didn't have any ob objection to the window ones. Uh, if I'm being perfectly honest. Hang on, two more of these. That is down. It is down. Um, then he says, that use of clips for the roof is very good. I should be yoinking. That's the idea for the MOCs. That's a very good uh, word, yoinking. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yoinking. Um, yeah, it was, wasn't it? And, and it was quite an interesting one because as I was doing it, I was thinking, How, what, what, what's the point of this? But actually, when you put it together, it gives a really nice texture. Uh, to the under roof, which is rather nice. That's unacceptable. Now it's now it's acceptable. Uh, Ruth says, "Am I alone in reading the word yoinking in a Scooby Doo voice?" Yoinking. Um, then Bevis says, "I think I got it from The Simpsons, but it's certainly Scooby Doo as well. I, I don't know which was first, or if it existed before even." Uh, Ruth says, uh, "Scooby Doo." was definitely first, pretty sure it started in the late 60s or early 70s before, because I watched as a child. Yes, oh, Sco Scooby-Doo absolutely 100% came first, no doubt about that. One, two, three, four, five, one more. 
Then a, a, gr a, gr a grill. A gr 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 grill. Okay, that's all in place. So now we can. I've done everything. Yes, I have. Turn the page. Oh my goodness, 54 of these now. 54. Um, Professor Lager says, I'm confident that given the trend so far, you would not have changed the batteries and the right sound box. I said, don't mention the batteries. May I recommend an alternative approach to this? Hmm, now let's hear it. Please say the following in your own voice. Hey Siri, remind me in two hours to change the batteries in the red sandbox. Hey Siri, remind me in four hours to change the batteries in the red sandbox. Uh, hey Siri, remind me in six hours to change the batteries in the red sandbox. Hmm. Well, we'll see if that works, shall we? Uh, Tweedle Mandy says, I was just reading these out to Tweedle Vapusu and Siri uh, set a reminder for me. Oh, see, this is, it's, 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 it's dangerous. Little Sue, she's called Little Sue. She's little, she's called Sue. She's Little Sue. Hello, it's me, Little Sue. Oh, uh, yes, hello, Little Sue. Are, are you f full of the, the joys and today and telling us what you've been getting up to and maybe having some questions and etc. Let, look, let's just get straight to the point, shall we, Emma? Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask you once and I just want a yes or no answer. I don't want any mucking about. <laughs> no, no dolphin. Here comes my question. Omar? Yes? Have you changed the batteries? No. I mean, what are we to do with you? Really? Please press all of the, 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 the mood buttons immediately, all of them at the same time, please. That's what I think of you. Right, okay, what do you want? I, well, I just wanted to say that I approve of your purchases vis-a-vis uh, -vis the, the Batmans. And I very much tried the Batmans. And I think they were super. And uh, I, I think I also enjoyed uh, the rubbering Batman also. And something I like about the, the Batman rubbering Batman is that I suspect he might let other people have a go on the rubbering. What do you think about this? Um. Yeah, sorry, fruity burp. Um. Yeah. Uh, uh, it really, it's like rubbing my nose on up. Um, yes, I'm sure that uh, Rubber Ring Batman will let other people have a go of the Rubber Ring, yes. Uh, anyway, I also wanted to say, who knew that there was a Rasta Robin? Because I didn't know there was a Rasta Robin yet. It's a Rasta Robin. It's fabulous. Uh, and I would like to extend a warm welcome to Mr. Dolphin. every word of that oh, oh very dear I won't be repeating it no no I think that's probably uh, that's probably for the best uh, probably for the best uh, Ruth Hay says a few e the first bit of today's film was indeed emotional yes it was yes it was um, uh, had a little weep but that's often just what is required yes I completely agree with you I think I love having a good cry. You need it every now and again. Absolutely 100%. Um, anyway, what a lovely end to the build. Great detail to the roof and sweet sweep for those beautiful windows. Yeah. 
Neil uh, says, uh, loved the Winter Village Fire Station build. The details came in spades at the end. The introduction of the Batman minifigs is fab too. They are fitting in well at the temple with their pal Bevis. Can't wait for the start of something completely different next. Uh, hashtag Afwax Forever. Yes, this is going to be completely different. Completement différent. Um, now I need to pay slight attention here. So there's three, three knots of this going up. I sort of feel all right about this build because this isn't a Lego set. You can't get it. It is. It, it's. It's an original. Well, it might be an MOC of someone, as someone once said. Um, but it's not a Lego set. Emma. Yes. I would just like to say that the words of Jordan were wise and lovely, and I would like to send lots of love to to him to Jordan, please. Yes, absolutely. Please press the button. Hundred percent. Uh, yes, uh, Twila Vapusu uh, said, your post made my eyes leak, Georgia. I think it made all our eyes leak, uh, to be honest. Um, but again, nothing wrong with that. I think it's good. I think it's a good thing. Uh, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli. Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli, Sharon Renzulli. Um, I think everybody needs to prepare themselves uh, for what I'm about to show you. Uh, you need to brace yourselves and you need to brace yourselves hard. <sighs> Here comes uh, Sharon Renzulli. Yeah, I played Santa Claus for a few years at preschool centers in my city. The suit and beard were professional. Yo, as soon as I entered the rooms, the little kitties were in awe. And we had the sheer joy going back and forth between us. Right, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? It's Sharon Renzulli. Oh, good God. Oh, good God. I mean, as if we couldn't love her more. Uh, we're just adding on another a, a layer of loving Sharon Renzulli more. Good. I'm giving you a round of applause. So that's absolutely unbelievable. That is spectacular work, madam. That is spe Oh. <laughs> oh, good God. Uh, Sharon Renzini has sent another picture. Yeah, uh, here's a picture of little Sue uh, with a fish. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> little Sue. Uh, with a fish, uh, yes, this <laughs> little saw with fish. That's not as much, that's unspookily exactly what I look like, am I? <laughs> that's, uh, where did you get this photo of me, please? <laughs> <laughs> it's little Sue with a fish. It's about to go in the poisson, poisson. I have to get my fishers. Um, I'm very efficient at getting, getting my fishers because... Uh, there's a lot of demand for Boisson Quasel. Is that true? Is that actually true? Oh, yes, you have no idea. And uh, this is me uh, carrying my, my, my fish back to get uh, the Boisson Quasel. Oh, all right, that's super. Uh, Neil says, uh, also photobombing this shop is potentially the first Poisson Quasel fan. Uh, hashtag, well, it could be. Hashtag Poisson Quasel. Hashtag uh, trending. Yes. Will you look at the face on that cat? He's off for his poisson, poisson. Uh, uh, Jess Pugh. Um, oh, we've got a story from Jess Pugh. Oh, that is super. Let's give it a... It says, in 2010, we celebrated 150 years of the cadet movement with a parade on the Mall and a tea party in Buckingham Palace. I know, right? <gasps> this already sounds absolutely fabulous. She says, I was a little overwhelmed by the day and very hot. We wore a full tunic and bearskin hat to the full shebang. When Prince Charles got to us, <gasps> I had a bit of a moment. I don't remember this, but according to my dad, we talked about camping and I spoke to him in a West Country accent. Okay, well, hang on a minute. We think, well, what's wrong with that? <laughs> 
I'm originally from Staffordshire. So Lord knows where that came from. It was a good day from what I remember. Ha ha. Oh, I couldn't, actually couldn't love. Oh, am I? Really? I mean, this is the problem, isn't it? You, you build people up and then and then the red some effects machine is letting everybody down. Please, and you've got other laugh machines. Please press that. <laughs> You could, you could, you could, you could have used this one from the start, Emma. I don't mean I do do it. What's wrong with you? It's like you've gone mad or something. All right, all right. All right, hang on. We're coming back to another picture of Shamra Zoobs. I've got to concentrate. One, two, three. I think it's here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Then one, two, three, four. All right, four. One, two, three, four. Okay. Uh, Sharon Rizzoli. Uh, but one little girl, Isabella, kept giving me a knowing look. I know who you are. Uh, as she played with her hair. Ho, ho, I said. Stop it, Mrs. Renzulli. <laughs> mm, she, yeah, I mean, it's it's a shame, isn't it, when you get found out that you are, in fact, Santa, but there we are. Uh, uh, Tweedle Mandy says, Jordan, you lovely, lovely man. If I wore makeup, I'd look like Alice Cooper right now. Uh, I don't do this for just anyone, but I would nip my farts for you. That, that's a big statement. That's a very big statement. Yep, nip them and try to suck the big buggers back up. That's that's a big statement. That's a very big statement. And, uh, oh, Emma. Well, really, what you want to, to celebrate is with the sound of a fat fryer? Really? I'm telling you now, you're, you're, you're on last chance saloon, Emma. Yeah, last, last chance saloon. Last chance. Jordan's facts. A uh, fly fact number one. And hopefully the last one. Oh, well, here we go. It's Dr. Jordan's facts. Uh, I'll answer your question first and then put some more general fly facts after. Most flies spend the winter as adults in cracks and crannies. And wake up in spring to lay their eggs on decaying matter. House flies delight in unhygienic places and their maggots feed on rotting food and other human waste. Blech. <laughs> Blech. Flies have a mobile head with a pair of large compound eyes and mouth parts designed for piercing and sucking or for lapping and sucking in the other groups. Bleh! Their wing arrangement gives them great manoeuvrability in flight and claws and pads on their feet enable them to cling to smooth surfaces. Flies undergo complete metamorphosis. The eggs are laid on the larval food source, and the larva, which, true la which lack true limbs, develop in a protected environment, often inside their food source. Bleh. The pupa is a tough capsule from which the adult emerges when ready to do so. Flies mostly have short lives as adults. What a shame. What a terrible shame. I wonder what the average lifespan of an adult is. Maybe we'll find out. Flies may have been among the evolutionarily earliest pollinators possible for early plant pollination. And for this we must, I suppose, thank them. Fruit flies are used as model organisms in research, but less benignly. Mosquitoes are vectors for malaria, dengue, West Nile fever, yellow fever, encephalitis and other infectious diseases. And house flies common with, ha with humans all over the world spread foodborne illnesses. Little bugs. Flies can be annoyances, especially in some parts of the world where they occur in large numbers. Buzzing and settling on the skin or eyes or bite or sick fluids. Bleh. 
larger flies can cause significant economic harm to cattle. Blue fly larva, known as gentles, and other larvae, known more generally as maggots, are used as fishing bait and as food for carnivorous animals. They are also used in medicine, in debridement, to clean wounds. Um, all right, yep, yeah, okay, they get a thumbs up for that. Uh, maggot debridement therapy, MDT, is the use of blowfly larva to remove the dead tissue from wounds, most commonly being amputations. Blech. Historically, this has been used for centuries, both intentional and unintentional, on battlefields and in early hospital settings. Removing the dead tissue promotes cell growth and the healthy wound healing. The larvae also have biochemical properties such as antibacterial activity found in their secretions as they feed. These medicinal maggots are a safe and effective treatment for chronic wounds. Bleh! <laughs> Bleh! The Sardinian... We, we, we continue on. We continue on. The Sardinian cheese Casu Mazo is exposed to flies uh, known as cheese skippers, such as Piophila Cassi, members of the family Piophila Dye. The digestive activities of the fly larva soften the cheese and modify the aroma as part of the process of maturation. Bleh! <laughs> Bleh! Bleh! <laughs> on we go <laughs> on we go at one time European Union authorities banned sale of the cheese and it was becoming hard to find but the ban has been lifted on the grounds that the cheese is a traditional local product made by traditional methods I take everything back about Brexit I'm glad we're leaving actually my stomach has taken a turn for the worse no more fly facts please thank you <laughs> uh, thank you Dr Jordan uh, Mike, formerly known as Tobin Mori J, you got the wrong email. Um, he says, hang on, no, absolutely not that. Uh, he says, hashtag Avawak Advent, what fabulous and magical surprise do we get behind door number nine? Today we got a table. Granted it's a nice table and there's a nice bottle with an orange topper, maybe for pumpkin juice, but really it's just a bit more Yule Ball backgrounding uh hashtag maybe more tomorrow little table thank you thank you uh mike also says uh am i wrong in wondering if flipper needs some googly eyes right okay all right the, the request has been made uh the request has been made so without further ado come on dolphin Uh, let's see what happens here, shall we? Now, there's not much to work on here. Oh, good grief. Oh, oh, good grief. Oh, good grief. Oh, 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 crumbs. Please stick on. I'm not sure this is good. Oh, oh, good grief. Oh, cr oh, crumbs. Are you ready for this? Are you ready? Are you ready? Thank you for that. Yes. Uh, well, welcome. Yes. Good. 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 Super. I mean, it's sort of true, isn't it? Every single thing we've added googly eyes to, it has improved it. Oh, that does conclude. Club business. On that googly eyed bombshell. Now then, where the heck am I? Right, I think that's going there. Please don't have gone wrong, Emma, because... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, I haven't gone wrong. Oh. Oh. My heart was in my mouth then. Okay. Then... That... straightforward now it's all tiling now pretty much that means we're gonna have about 
15 minutes of nothing but tiling. Are you, I, I hope you go and get yourself a cup of Pause this and go and get yourself a cup of tea, if you wish. Oops, that's not quite down that one. That's not down. That's down. Yeah. That's down. Um That's a lovely colour. There we go. Oh, oh, oh. Not this bit. The next bit, you're going to love it. You're going to absolutely love it. Not this bit. Next bit. Wait. This isn't this isn't the bit I was just telling you about. That bit is is, is going to start any minute now. I'll tell you when.
this. Ooh, I've really got to get the placements of those right. Mm. Not this one. Right now then, this is two up, I think it's at the fourth, I think that's it, if I haven't got that right I'm really stumped, one, two, three, four, I think it's right. That's one, two, three from there. Yeah, okay. I think that's I think that's in the right place. Right. Are you ready? Here it comes. This is the bit you're going to like. Last one. Oh. Oh my gosh. That's really nice. That was lovely. Anyway, okay. So that uh, was bag one. We're off to a nice start here. Oh, uh, lovely. Okay. Uh, but there we go. Right, we're off. The Zingbao Toy and Bookstore. Uh, so come back tomorrow and uh, we shall carry on. Looks like there's going to be some nice detail tomorrow as well to look forward to. Uh, and some more tiling. Oh, joy. See you then. Uh, Afworks forever. Bye-bye.